here at Calvary Day School alongside Tennessee Volunteer Quarterback Commitment, Jake Merklinger. Jake, a bye week here early in the season, week two, mm -hmm. but you got back to work last week with a win over Islands. Right. Kind of take me through the excitement to be out here and get your senior season going. Yeah, you know, we're just super excited for it. Um, went through some workouts, had a really good summer workout, you know, good fall camp. Went to game one against Islands after a couple scrimmages. Played pretty well. Um, played together, played fast, and, you know, we got a big win over them. Um, then week two buy, so which is different for us. You know, yeah. it's not the best thing in the world, but at the same time, it is good. We get to rest our bodies a little bit before we go into a big kind of four game stretch against uh, Elka, who you know four or five times state champion in Georgia powerhouse, and then Charlotte Christian out of North Carolina, which will be really good for us. And then Liberty County, a team who you know we struggled against, to be honest, last year in region play, and then our big rival Savannah Christian, which you know star studded five star player, so. Everybody's excited for it to get here, but kind of what's reality like now that the senior season's here and you're ultimately pushing towards that goal of chasing a state championship and then getting ready for the next level at the same time? Right. It's kind of – it's honestly a little bit surreal when you think about it. Like, okay, I only have – I only have guaranteed four or five more games left, but – or sorry, eight or nine more games left. But you don't want to think, think about it like that. Just kind of try and take it day by day and soak up every single thing you can being around the guys or going out to eat, um, but also working really hard because, like you said, we want to win a state championship. We know we can do it if we work the way we should. Absolutely. When I talked to you here last night, you were here on campus supporting another team, yeah. you know, here in the gym kind of hanging out. Mm -hmm. Culture's huge for you here. Yes. As you work through the recruiting process, culture was huge for you yes. in picking Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Kind of take me through how important it was to find that match. Right, yeah, you know, this place is special. When I, I'm talking about Calvary, it's very special. Um, just the people here, you know, like like you said, going out to a volleyball game on a, a Thursday night and all your buddies being there in the student section. And so, like, like you said, it was very important to find a college like that. And I think Tennessee was definitely the most like it. Um, just the family inside the building. When you're walking by, everybody's saying what's up. Um, you know, being around different people, you're not know, always around the same people. Uh, eating in a dining hall with other athletes was something that was really big to me and my dad. You know, you just don't want to be in a dining hall with all guys. And I, there is some pros to it, but, you know, that's just not something I wanted. Um, so, yeah, like you said, Tennessee's culture was perfect for me. I think it's very similar to here. Everybody looks at Coach Hopple as an offensive-minded guy, mm -hmm. and that's – Obviously accurate. Number one offense in the country last fall. But right. when you look at him, you get to see a different side of him. You see a competitor. Yeah. He's constantly kind of talking on campus. That he's got the best <laughs> jump shot on campus. You are a star on the basketball court here as well. Who's winning that three-point contest? I am for sure. I, I am for sure. But uh, like you said, he is a, a super, super competitive guy, which I really like about him. I think, you know, like I've said, I think that's a similarity between us. We gel really well. Him and Coach Halsey, really the whole staff is super competitive, and that's what you want, you know, just, be around people who want to win because you want to win. So that's something I really appreciate, and I, I can't wait to get there. But, no, I'd whoop Coach Hype in a three-point contest. <laughs> Absolutely. Co Coach Halsley, speaking of him, he, he was your guy kind of yes. throughout. Mm -hmm. he, mm -hmm. he was there when he was the quarterback's coach from most to OC. That was a big right. deal for you. Yes. yes. What's the excitement level like to get to play for him, not only as a quarterback's coach, but also, you know, having a hand, a heavier hand in calling plays? Yeah, I'm super excited. You know, Coach Halsley and me have a really good relationship. He's awesome. You know, he's a man of faith, which I really appreciate. Um, and he, like I said, he's competitive and uh, he wants to win. He knows a ton about football. And for mo most importantly for me, um, he develops quarterbacks really, really well. Uh, just looking at what he did with Hendon and what he's done with Joe. I can't wait to see Joe play this year, by the way. It's going to be awesome. Um, but, yeah. Uh, and then his transition from quarterback coach to OC was really big for me. Just to be in a room every day with a guy learning from him and that same guy calling the plays was something I was looking for in the recruiting process. And so when he got named the OC, it, it, it really did mean a lot. When you look back, March 30th, you commit to Tennessee. Yeah. It was a hectic few months <laughs> yes. for you. Yeah. Winter top junior days playing basketball, coaches coming through here to see you. Right. February's dead, but you camp a little bit. And uh -huh. in March, things start to unfold. You take some visits. Yeah. Commit March 30th. Since that, five month, almost five months out, how much comfort is there for you in knowing that you got this decision? There's a lot of comfort. Um, like you said, I, I got the decision perfectly right. Um, and it's a lot of stress relief, to be honest, just to have that weight lift off your shoulders, knowing you chose the right place um, to be your new home. So 
I mean, a lot to me. And the recruiting process was a blessing, but like you said, it became very stressful there towards the end, be but a necessary stressfulness. You know, right. you're making a decision that uh, could change the next, not even four years, the next 40 years of your life. And so, you know, it, it's been a huge stress relief and, and weight lifted off my shoulders. Absolutely. When, when you commit on March 30th, it goes from man of the hour pretty quickly <laughs> to, hey, this is the guy that everybody's looking at in the right. class, and we've yeah. got to go peer recruit. Yeah. What's that been like for you? Group text message with the other commits. <laughs> kind of take me through the dynamics there. Who's leading the conversation? What's that like? Yeah, you know, like you said, group text message with the other guys. It's It's been pretty consistent. We're talking on almost a daily basis. Just it's super cool, especially getting to add new guys into the group message. That's kind of our favorite part. That's when we really get going. Yeah. Um, so, like, big commitment from Jordan Ross the other day. That was really, really cool to see, just guys' reactions to that. Um, you know, it's been awesome, you know, just – being able to talk to guys who are going to be your future teammates who also could be, you know, your future best friends or people in your wedding one day. Absolutely. You have met a lot of new people through the process. Mm -hmm. One that's kind of been here for you throughout is Cam Michael. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's the relationship like with him and what's the message to him? Oh, yeah. So I first met Cam at an AAU basketball tournament in the sixth or seventh grade. I was playing against him and we're warming up and there's this five, maybe Five seven five eight lefty, and he's flying. And he never actually dunked one, but he's grabbing the rim. And this is like sixth or seventh grade. And so we're all looking across the court like, who are we about to play? Uh, so that's kind of when I knew Cam was going to be a beast. But he's in Statesboro, so it's a little bit of a travel, so we're not hanging out all the time. But no, just getting, getting talking to Cam, um, trying to recruit him a little bit, just let him know, um, you know, Tennessee could be the home for him, and I want it to be that. Uh, you know, come with me from South Georgia to Tennessee, you know, let's let's be different. Don't don't be another guy. And I'm not bashing him or anything, but don't be another guy in Georgia that goes to Georgia. Or you know, come to Tennessee, be different, and uh, make a name for yourself. Absolutely. You're back to work next week. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, as you finish out your career here, state championship is the ultimate goal. But right. for you personally, how do you want to go out at Calvary Day? I want to win a state championship. And let's see. I don't know too much of the personal stats here. Like, when I, I mean, we don't have it on walls or anything, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but, no, just mainly win a state championship. I want to win a state championship. I want to leave, leave a legacy here. Um, I want to go undefeated. I don't want to lose a game. Um, and just making memories of my friends and my teammates that will last forever. You heard it here, 2024 Tennessee Volunteers quarterback commit, Jake Merklinger. Jake, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Go Vols.